everyone. This is Karen from Grace B Creations. Happy Monday again, because this is my second video today. We did the giveaway earlier today, so I am so excited. I'm so glad that um, I did that first because a lot of people were waiting to see if their name would be pulled. Like I was saying in the comments, I wish I could give everybody something. <laughs> It's like everybody is so sweet. So congratulations again to the winners of the um, the 1K giveaway. So now it's Monday. It is Craft With Me Monday as we're working on the, um, the flip-flop journal. We are on the back part of the journal. Last week we did... Um, over the weekend, we did this page here. We did this. We made the pocket. We added these two little pages here. And then we made this little side tuck and added the vintage bow. Now we're on to the next couple of pages. And I really think we're gonna get through a lot of this tonight. Um, I'm leaving that blank, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Um, I have a little idea for this. So, um, let's get started. I'm like really excited. I cannot wait to finish this book. Um, this book is coming along so nice. I, I love it. I love how it's coming out. So, I'm going to use... I'm going to use these scissors here to kind of hold it down because it's top heavy. Um, <laughs> it is like, it's a flip flop journal. So, um, but I'm so excited to decorate in this book tonight. I had a few ideas running through. Um, as you guys know, I usually throw a bunch of stuff that I really like over here um, to choose from. Um, things that sit with me. And just a few moments ago before I turned the video on, I stitched a couple of um, journal cards. I love sitting at my sewing machine. It was so nice sitting at my sewing machine. It's right in front of the window and it's the sun, like it's just getting between light and dark out, you know, and I was looking out my window while I was stitching and stuff. So I don't know, I like sitting at my sewing machine. Um, sometimes I don't get the chance to do that too often, but I did stitch this journal card and I left a little bit of thread on the top just to give it a cute little look. I did that and then I did this tag here and this tag is actually from Ramona's collection. Um, she's got such beautiful tags on her, on her blog, um, on her Etsy store. I'll link it below again with her stuff because I, I use a lot of her stuff in my journals but I did stitching along the edges here and then I I love this and I'm going to use this in the book tonight so and of course I have this journal card that I stitched a while back ago that's a really neat stitch that I did I love stitching it's a lot of fun okay so just letting you guys know I'm still dealing with the stuffiness it's really getting better, but every once in a while I'll still have like this, you know, stuffy nose or whatnot. So, um, okay, so the first thing that I was thinking about doing is I really, really like this corner lace, this um, corner that I, 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 um, I, die, I made this into a die cut. So I wanted to add this this is actually vellum here so I don't want to add anything too heavy on this page so I'm actually gonna make this into a corner talk and I'm gonna glue it down okay and it's kind of cute because when I took it out I'm like oh it matches It matches really well to the paper, so it's perfect fit. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. And I think that's where I'm going to insert this, but I want to do some layering. Um, what I was thinking 
Or I want to do that on that one. Okay, I'm going to save this for the second page. I have a couple of things here. Uh, while this is drying, um, I'm going to show you guys what I made over the weekend. I was just playing around with some paper while I was watching some YouTube videos, getting caught up. A lot of times when I'm getting caught up on my videos, I will place with some paper um, because my TV is directly in front of me. I have this huge TV that's like right in front of me in my craft room. So I'll watch some YouTube videos while I am... Um, creating some small little ephemera pieces and I made this little doily pocket isn't that the cutest it's a double doily pocket out of a piece of cardstock and I also did another one um, with book paper let me see if I have it so I can show it to you I don't know if I oh I don't remember where I put it if I find it, I'll show it to you guys. But I also made this cute little envelope over uh, the weekend as well. It's this cute little envelope. It's all one piece of paper. You open it up. And it opens up like that. That's just some papers I threw in there. But what's cute about it is you fold it up and in and tuck it in right and it looks like there's actually a piece of paper inside your envelope so when you go to pull it you're like no it's a part of the envelope it is really cool isn't that the cutest so I just stuffed some things in the back used a little sticker added some lace put some lace and a button there look at how cute that is so I think we might be able to add that in here tonight too so anytime you guys you know, if you're if you're if you can be at your desk and watch, get caught up on your YouTube channels or, or movie or whatnot, just make some small ephemera pieces just to stick in your junk journal next time you're working on it. That's what I try and do. And then I also made this little cute. Um, it's like a little. Let me show it to you. It's made out of circles. And of course, any time that you guys see something that I put in the junk journal that you would like for me to do a tutorial on, let me know and I will add it to the list. This is just made out of circles put together to make a little, a little closure. Isn't that cute? And then I just stuck some flowers in here. And then just tie it and I'm gonna add this into the book tonight as well isn't that adorable I love it all right so now we have this corner tuck here um, I have so many choices of what I can put in here I want to add that um, I want to add this paper clip top as well. What I'm thinking of doing is maybe adding this. Oh, well, I can add this journal card. Actually, I think that's a little too thick. Yeah, that's too wide. Let me see what else I can add. Oh, I also made this over the weekend too. <laughs> I was a busy little girl this weekend. I was just sitting in front of the TV having a great old time. I took one piece of um, cardstock and I made it into a, a long flip out. It's got two pockets. I did some stamping. I made it into a long pocket. A long, a long fold out with two pockets. Isn't that cute? I love it. It's amazing what you can do with just one piece of paper. And I add a little heart button on that. So I will add that to this book as well. Um, all right. So I'm going to add this for now. Maybe we can add this tag as well. Yeah, I'll go ahead and add this. We're going to put some ribbon on that. Let me see, should I do... Which ribbon do I want to use? 
actually I had a piece of lace that I brought over here. I got this piece here. Oh, right here. Okay, I'm going to use this for the tag. I can't believe we're on Monday already. These weeks are flying by. Okay. Sorry, I'm out of frame. There we go. I'm going to glue just the top part of that. So that I don't waste actually what I should do. Hold on. I'm going to even this out. Glue it back down. And I think I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it down and just glue it in the front. Because this lace doesn't stand up that well, so um, you can just fold it over. If your lace is ever too long on your tag, just flip it over and make it into a loop. It gives it a cute little look. But now, because I had bunched it up all there by folding it over and you got that hole there, I'm going to add a little button right on the front part of that. So let me grab my buttons. I think I sat and made some buttons this weekend too, which is also fun. I love making fabric buttons. I made, let me see, I'll show you guys the ones that I made. I did those. I did those. So fun. And then this one as well. Whoops. Nice little flower button. I got this pack that has like all different sizes. Okay, I'm going to use this one probably. Or is that too big actually? What am I thinking? Um, let me see. Look at all these cute buttons. I want a flat button. That's way too big. I maybe should be looking at my smaller ones. Actually, that might work. Or we can do a little, the little polka dot. It has a little bit of blue in there. Yeah, I'll do that one. Sold to the highest bidder. Okay. While I'm doing this, I just want to take a moment to thank all of you guys for your wonderful comments. I so enjoy seeing your comments, and I do answer each and every one of them, by the way. So if you leave a comment below, I will answer. You all are so nice and kind with your words. I appreciate it so much. All right, so I'm adding a little button there at the bottom where I folded the lace down. And I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna layer it like that. Well, this one's taller so I can layer it like that. There we go. On to the next page. Okay, the other side of the vellum. Um, I don't want to put too much on it because where it's vellum, you don't want it to be too heavy. So, um, let me see for a moment. I'm going to skip this side for now and I'm going to go right to here because I know what I want to do here. Um, with this page, I'm going to make a lace pocket. Um, 
<clears throat> I'm going to do a tall lace pocket here. Trim that up a little bit more. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Do to do. Let me see. Where did my little tool thing go? My flat bottom thing. I don't see it. My desk is a mess. You guys should see what my desk looks like when I'm finished making working on my books. Oh my goodness. It's like a tornado hit. I know you guys can relate. We all have been there. Okay, so we have... I gotta let this dry. We have this lace pocket here. Okay. Now my plan, <clears throat> my plan for this pocket is going to be this cute tag. I embossed this tag here and I added pink ribbon to it. What I want to do is I have these cute die cuts that Ramona sent me. She had a whole pack of them and she asked if I wanted them. I said, yeah, send them. I think she said they were discontinuing or I don't remember what she said. If she still has them on her site or if she's she's redoing her whole shop for the summer. Um, I don't remember if she said that if she's still going to have them or not, or, um, but I'm going to take a paper clip. I thought I had slightly bigger ones. I've got the tiny ones. Okay, so what I want to do with this, I want to add these die cut papers and add them on top of the tag. These are so tiny. Oh my goodness. I need to get some medium size rusted paper clips. I've got the real big ones, but that's extreme. I don't have like a medium size, but this might work. Oh, I know what I can use. Hold on. This is too small. I have my, um, my bulb, bulb pins. Let me get my little, um, my bulb pins. I always forget about those. Is this the right one? Nope. Those are eyelets. I have four of these that have different things in them. Yep, these are the ones. I have all the different bulb, bulb pins. I'll take two of them out in case I need another one. See all the cute little stuff that's in here? Oh, actually, I had the other, well, they're still tiny. They're the paper clips by um, Tim Holtz. Okay, so we'll use the bulb pin. And what I want to do is I want to take the little hole and just there's a couple of them here so I want it to like slide open and I'm going to attach it to the top part of this tag to the ribbon I could add a little charm on there too if I want just to add a little bling and that can be on top of the tag so you can have some notes on there I want to make it a little tighter though. So I think I'm going to add a little bling on here. I'm going to put a little key. 
this cute little key. Isn't that cute? All right, actually, should we go in the other way? Hold on, let me think for a minute. How do I wanna do this? Because if I'm gonna go that way, I'm gonna have to go underneath. Yeah, hold on. We're gonna put it on the pin first, then like that. Whoops. There we go. All right, I'm gonna add this to the tag. That's better. There. So, basically I just took this tag added some ribbon on the top, and we have some cute die cut papers you can write notes on. And we're gonna put it inside the lace and we're gonna hang these on top. So we have our, our tag with these little notes. And we're sticking the tag inside the lace pocket with the little papers hanging out. Isn't that cute? I like it. I like how that came out. All right, now, I was thinking about adding that on there, but I think I'm gonna add it more towards the back. Okay, so that's this page. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this yet. It's vellum, I don't wanna to put too much on it. Like I said, I don't want it to be top heavy. Um, I might add, actually, you know what? I'll probably just add some trim on the end of that. I, I wanna make a point about something. Me and my friend, Jen Chim, I call her Jen Chim. She calls me Kay Chim. Her and I have been really close friends for a very long time. I met her when, when there was MySpace. Um, but her and I are really good friends, and we started junk journaling together. And, um, and when we were making one of our big journals, I remember feeling like I had to cover every page. And she felt that way too. We both felt like we had to cover every single page in the book. Well, you know what? You don't have to cover every page. You, it's okay to leave some pages empty. Sometimes the pages just speak for themselves. You, that's why it's important when picking out signatures that you pick some pages that have some um, meaning to it or, um, you pick pages that have, that stand on its own and you can just add some lace on the edge or decorative lace or whatnot. Um, sometimes just adding, you know, just a little piece of lace just makes all the difference. Um, I'm gonna actually add some different lace on the edge here. I've been doing a lot of the same kind. I wanna add some different trim. Let me see. I'm gonna go look for some trim really quick to add on to here. Okay, I have found some trim. What I'm gonna use I just had it. Where did it go? <laughs> Hello. I'm going crazy. I just had it in my hand a second ago. Did it fall on the ground? Oh no, it's right here. Oh my goodness. I'm like, they're gonna think I'm crazy. Okay, this is one of my other favorite laces. I got this from um, Hobby, no, is it Hobby Lobby? Yeah, Hobby Lobby. This is another one of my favorites. I love using this lace. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim the end of the other side of the vellum. And then I'm gonna leave it blank because it's pretty as it is.
And like I said, I don't want to add too much to it because vellum is very light. And we already have something on the other side. Okay. That's cute. And that's going to stand out nicely when you have it closed. Okay. Now we are on the next part. Now I told you I wanted to leave this blank, but what I'm going to do and I'm hoping I can do it because it's the way it's bulky. I don't think there's any other way I can do it. I don't know if I can open this up. Yeah. I might be able to lie it flat for a moment while I do this. I can open that up. That might be a little better. I just don't want to squish anything. There's something hard. Yeah, I might have to work with that as best as I can. I wonder if I should, I don't think there's anything else I can really put underneath that to do that. I can feel, yeah, it's going to be the same. Okay, I'm going to try to do the best I can. What I'm going to do is we're going to stencil on this writing page. I want to leave this page blank, but I just want to add a little bit, a little bit of um, decoration on the page. I got this um, from Joann's the other day, and I thought it was so cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take Victorian Velvet. Actually, for this one, I really should be using a lighter color if you want to write on top of it. So, I'm going to actually go with Tatted Rose. I'm going to use Tatted Rose. And I'm just going to lightly, just lightly, stencil the book pages. The um, lined paper without moving it. You don't want to do it too dark because if you want to write on this page, you just want it to be just light enough just to just to give it decoration. Sorry if my arm is in the way. So in my last video, I had asked you guys if you want me to, um, how, how you would like for me to do a, um, a larger journal this summer. If you want me to video me doing a large journal from beginning to end and you all voted yeah I would love to see that so um, I think I'm gonna work on a I think this summer I might do a five signature a five signature book and show you guys how um, how I create my five signature books using um, chipboard and um, decoupaging and fabric covering and um, five pamphlet stitch and picking out my five signatures and it's a process. Um, it's going to be a pretty big series um, but I'm going to throw some fun stuff in between. I have some ideas of what I want to do so um, I don't want to give away too much yet. Um, but it should be fun, and I'll let you know when that's coming up. 
So basically I'm just taking just a few little stencil parts and just going over it lightly where you can still see and write. I'm going to add one more down here and that should be good enough. There. Okay. So that's going to be that page. We are at 30 minutes, so I think I have room for one more page. And that's this page here. So what do we want to do with this page? All right. I think I want to add... Let me see. I can't can't do that because these have ends on them. Um, oh my goodness, isn't that funny? Remember how I said some pages need to be left empty? And I put the lace on that page? I did the same thing on here. I must have been thinking the same thing. Okay, um... Let's add a few of the things. I really want to add this on. I could glue it right here and leave the ribbon hanging over the edge. That way when you untie it, you can still open it. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to glue this on the bottom. I'll have to do a tutorial showing you guys how to make those circles into this beautiful little pouch. If you don't know how to do it, you might know how to do it. I'm not the only one who's done it. I've seen lots of people do it. Sorry I'm so stuffy. Um, oh, man, I'm telling you, this, this head cold has been hard to shake. This is something else that I made. Um, I made this a while back ago. It was like a cute little shape out of a piece of paper that I cornered. And I put lace over it and added two um, rivets at the end of them with a little charm. I, th I thought that was so cute. I don't know where I want to put it though. I might put it there and just use it as a belly band. Not sure yet. I might use that actually on one of the shorter pages. Yeah, I'll save that for another day. Um, so I'm going to put this here. And then... I'm not quite sure. I know I wanted to add this page. Maybe I can add... Well, no. I don't, that'll be too big. That's too much on one page. I might actually put that there because that's going to open like that. So I think I'm actually going to glue that there. I say the next video will be finishing up this, um, we'll be finishing up this, this book by the next video. I am almost at the end. We are just about there. One more video. We'll finish the last couple of pages and the small little book on the front. So I'm going to leave this empty like I did with the other one. And I'm gonna, I wanna put something there, but I'm not sure what. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I can do, I have an idea. Okay. Another thing I got from Ramon is, um, she sent me this from her Etsy page. This is, um, an index card. And what I like to do with index cards is I have a piece of ribbon here, it's like a clear piece of ribbon. And I like to stick it between the little two notches. 
I'm going to tie a bow. Tie it really tight so it doesn't slip off the top. So that the bow is on the top part of it, like that. Do, do, do. After I'm done this video, I think I'm going to make myself some tea, and I'm going to go relax in bed and watch some TV. Hopefully the stuffiness will go away. Okay. So I just added a little bow. my little index card just to add a little something and then what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna pin that at the top or I can pin it this way and I'll use a paper clip for this one Isn't that cute? You can write on that as well. I also have this little spool that I put lace on the back of. If you want to just add that underneath there. Like that. Cute. I like it. I think that we have really good amount of things on this back end here. If I put too much more, it's not going to close. One last thing before I finish up for the night. I'm going to glue and I'm going to add this trim here. Look at how cute. Oh my goodness. All we have left is just these two here. I am not sure what I want to do with that. We could actually, well no, we've got this, 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 and this, and then we have, yeah, I'm going to make one more video. We're going to finish the last three. Okay, and then we're going to do the front pocket and we should be all finished. Oh my goodness. Look at this. She's a chunk. We'll throw a few little things in there. So we're going to finish the front book and then the last couple of pages. And then we're going to be done this flip-flop journal. Look at all the goodies in here. So let's go over really quick what we did tonight. Okay, we started with the corner tuck and I added the stitch journal card. We put the ribbon on top of the card and added a button. We left this blank, but we added the lace. And this was my favorite of the night. I absolutely love how this came out. We have the tag with the papers. So when we put it into the lace pocket, we leave the little papers out with the key on top. I have that little paper clip there from the other side, so I might be able to add a little something on the top there. Um. Have that. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Or I could add one of these. <laughs> I'll find something. Okay, so we did that. And then we have oh, 
Oh no, I won't have a paper clip there. Oops, hold on one second. I double clipped that. That's supposed to go on inside of this. Hold on a second. I'm glad I saw that. I double clipped it. There we go. That's supposed to be on the inside of, did I just do that again? No, I didn't, okay. So we don't have a clip on that side. All right. And we have the book page with the stenciling. And then we have this cute wings page on the bottom with the flowers. And then we have our library card with the bow and the lace spool. Then we have the trim edged vellum. We're leaving that blank. And then we have the open two pocket. And then what we can do is we'll fill these pockets um, with little ephemera pieces when we finish up on the next video. So the next video we're going to finish these last three. We're leaving this blank. And then we're going to finish up the little pockets on the inside of the front page. And then we're complete. And we're finished. And I am so happy with this book so far. Thank you so much for taking this journey with me and decorating this flip-flop journal. And congratulations again to the winners of the giveaway. And I will see you guys in the next video. I will probably be doing a tutorial video on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. And then the next, we're working on this book on Saturday, is it? We doing Saturday and Monday, or are we doing Wednesday? And it's okay. I'll we'll do it. I we'll do this next book. Let's do this on Friday. Friday. We're gonna do Friday and Monday, and then Wednesday I'll do a tutorial. And then if I do anything else, I'll throw up a um, um, a short video or check out my Instagram for any work that I'm doing. Okay. So thank you so much for work uh, for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave a comment below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.